Caroline, I'm tired. It's not far now. We'll be there soon. I'm cold. We'll fetch you warm milk and honey. You'd like that. Very much. Thank you, Caroline. What are those dogs doing? Dogs? Alvin, do exactly as I say. This is important. Run to the inn as fast as you can, and don't look back. Understand? Evil dogs. Run! What the hell? Shut the gate, quickly! The beast! The beast is attacking! Sound the alarm! Geralt! Melatelli must have sent you. There's a woman outside. The dogs will tear her apart. Help her! Help! No! Don't open the gate! The beasts will enter! These dogs are deadly. You people are monsters! Stand aside! I'll save her myself! Stop. Don't go out there alone. Damn you! We're all going to die! Magic, surely. The beast! Geralt, look! The time of the sword and axe approaches! The time of the white frost and white light! The time of madness and disdain! To Dirit, the final age! The world will perish amidst ice and be reborn with the new sun! Reborn of elder blood, of hen care, of a planted seed. A seed that will not sprout but burst into flames. The old elven prophecy of Itlina. I hope he's alright. It seems he saved us from the beast. Yes, seems so. Oh, I do hope he's not hurt. I'll need to find someone to take care of him. He shouldn't be alone. We'll stay at the inn in the meantime. Wait a minute. I ran into wild dogs on my way here, but they were nothing like these, and I don't mean just the green fur. Know anything about them? They've been terrorizing the village for some time. Every few days, a villager is killed. The pack is led by a large hound, perhaps a wolf. People call it the beast. Someone might pay to have the beast slain. That's what witchers do, isn't it? But enough about monsters. What brings you here? I'm seeking men who wear the sign of the salamander. Seen anyone like that in the area? Shh, not so loud. There was someone, but the peasants grow silent at the mere mention of him. The Reverend might know more. You may also want to ask him about the beast. I'll do that. Did you want to ask me something? Do we know each other? It's me, Shawnee. Don't you recognize me? Whatever happened to you? I heard you died during a massacre in Rivia. Unfortunately, I lost my memory. I recall the last few weeks, nothing more. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't help. Medicine's a fledgling science here in the North. I can say that your memory might come back on its own. It's not that bad. I'm actually getting used to it. I hate to admit it, but sorcerers are somewhat more effective at this than we are. Maybe one of them could help. Were we friends? We had a beautiful friendship, until Dandelion crept through my window. Dandelion? Sorry, Geralt. I forgot. Dandelion's our friend. He has a talent for showing up at the wrong time. I'm not sure I understand. Never mind. What's past is past.
What brings you to this village? I'm traveling to St. Libiota's Hospital in Vizima to help fight the Catriona Plague. When are you leaving? Once I've helped the victims of the dog attacks, I guess. I can't abandon them. It'll delay me, but some are certain to die without my aid. It's been a long time since I've heard mention of Salamandra. Do you know anything about them? I think they're a group of bandits who terrify the locals. Yesterday, they returned a boy they'd whipped with a lamia. A lamia? A mayhem crop with small barbs and hooks. It rips away skin and flesh with each strike. Most civilized countries have banned them. The boy was delirious, muttered something about a ransom and the reverend. Sadly, he grew feverish, and he died that night. Thanks. I may stay longer than I planned. Why the interest in Salamandra? They killed someone I was fond of, and stole something of mine. I wouldn't want to be them. We'll speak later. Be alert. Hmm, a notice board. Maybe I can find some witcher's work. What do you want? Give me a beer. Your kind's not welcome here. I said I wanted a beer. We have no more. Very well. I'll see what I have. Good man. Everyone drink up. We're closing. Innkeeper, do that again and I'll get angry. Wouldn't want that, would you? No. All right. I'll just tend to my business and be on my way. What can I do for you? I'm a witcher. Bah, by the eternal fire. Have any work for me? No. Ask the Reverend. Okay. I'll speak with him. What can I do for you? Why the gloom? I don't talk to strangers. Do you for five orans? For that, I talk to a bar guest all day. The plague was devastating. People died in droves. The wailing lingered for three moons. If not for the Reverend, we'd all have perished. No wonder we're wary of strangers. You don't know what it's like when the plague takes your family. The Reverend prayed all day to the Eternal Fire, taking no sustenance. His penance freed us from sin and strengthened our faith. We began by cleansing our homes of sin and filth. We gathered it up, and by the next day, all our foulness was buried or gone. The Reverend then spoke to all who remained. You have done well cleansing your households of sin. I know it was difficult, I know they be kin, but the eternal fire sent pestilence on them as punishment for their sins. You are pure, you shall live. And we believed him, then went outside. The frost was biting, but we did our penance crawling round the village, praying at the five chapels. The next day the village was quiet, as if all were asleep. Fewer have fallen sick since. An edifying tale. Thanks. Greetings, Ansem. You look a tinge fatigued. Wait, didn't you rescue that child at the gate? By chance. By chance? Really? If only the local peasants chance to do good once in a while. Oh, no matter. What can I get you? Nothing now. But care to sit down with me for a moment? Not lightly. I'm a decent girl. I'm at work now. Don't be angry. Only a blind man could ignore you. You sure know how to compliment a woman, sir. What can I get you? Beer. I'll bring it in a minute. You're quite a talker. Forgive me. Your beauty rendered me speechless. Oh, but you know how to compliment a woman, Ansem. You don't look like one to be lucky at love, but I wager your luck excels at dice. I know a bit about the game. Sir, I wouldn't cheat you. An honest game's what I propose. Honest? Why choose me? No one else is willing to sit down with you. Risk is your daily bread, that's clear. 
I'd consider it an honor to play you. My pouch is as empty as a smith's bellows. The peasants round here have nothing but cabbage to wager. A hunter, a worthy opponent, used to fancy a game, but I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not surprised. I don't doubt you fleeced him. To be frank, he loved high stakes, yet the dice disliked him from the outset. Can you make a good living at dice? That depends entirely on who one plays, sir. The wages are certainly larger in Vizima. And where in Vizima would I find someone willing to play? If your money pouch is bursting, try the new Naracourt. You might also choose the hairy bear, if you have the nerve. Who is this hunter you played? Must have been quite a lover, for I've never seen such ill luck on a man. He lost a lot of orans. Watch out. Love wanes. He'll be back for his gold. I think not, sir. You could smell the loser in him a mile off. The debts must be keeping him away. Farewell. Hit me, cheeky! I'm itching to miss someone. Who wants to get slapped? Wanna fight? Got any money? No pain, no gain. We'll see. Lost again. Should have known. Here's your gold. Want a beating, stranger? We fight for money. I'll kick your ass and make money doing it. We'll see. Who wants to get slammed? You win, Wanderer. Take your coin and leave me be. What can I do for you? I'm looking for someone who stayed at this inn. Look around the tables. But at night, guests retire to their rooms. Return tomorrow if you must talk to them. All right. I'll look around. What can I do for you? Got a room? Yes. For you, five orans. <laughs> Did you want to ask me something? So what'll become of Alvin? I don't know. I'll look after him for now. Maybe a villager will take him in. He seems clever enough. Surely someone will want him. Did you want to ask me something? We'll speak later. Finally, uh, someone sensible here. And you are? Luvarden, merchant. Of those Luvardens. Of those or not, I sense you have a job for me. Unfortunately. My friend disappeared in the cave beneath Vizima's walls. You think he's dead? I don't know. I'll pay you 200 orns to rescue him or provide for a decent burial. Will you take the job? All right. My friend tried evading the quarantine to enter Vizima. Why through the cave? We heard goods were smuggled into Vizima that way. I'll do what I can. Be careful. My friend has dealt with monsters before. If he's dead, surely danger follows. I'm forced to sell my goods out here. Bad luck. I can't enter the city either. Want to buy something? Rob me in broad daylight. Go ahead. What are you peddling? My life. Hmm. Three ounces of Optimum Martyr, a drop of Mercury Solution... Uh, oh, sorry, I got lost in thought. Greetings. Greetings. I'm Cogstein, alchemist. Geralt, Witcher. A Witcher? How much would you ask for an opportunity to examine your body? 
I don't think you could afford it. You would be doing a great service to science. All right, fine. Though I perceived you as someone who valued reliable knowledge. I respect science and scientists, alchemists too. And I guess I expect the same in return. I see. Well, hmm. Maybe you can agree to a post-mortem then. Keep talking and I might change my mind. Regarding alchemists, that is. All right, all right. I'm sorry. Do you ask everyone for permission to examine or dissect them? Of course not. But you're a mutant. A scientifically wrought improvement. Something unnatural. That explains it. Don't take offense. I'm merely curious. Need any help from a witcher? I do. Check the notice I hung outside. You don't look like a local. I live in Vizima, but I'm just returning from a great convention of alchemists, pyromancers, and geomancers in Oxenfort. Wonderful city, witcher. A cradle of science. I don't doubt it. Did the convention reach any specific conclusions? It was an incredible experience. I presented my dissertation on... Specific? Conventions aren't meant to be specific. Then I'm not sure I see the sense. Science is like a great river, full of currents, whirls, and treacherous shallows. A single raftsman can never know every secret of the river. He must sail to the harbor and share his knowledge with other raftsmen. And get drunk and spend his last money on whores. I think I see the point now. Hmm. Science is like a river. Uh, sorry, I got lost in thought. You were talking about returning to Vizima. Ah, uh, yes. Because of this quarantine, I'm losing time in this inn. I have extremely important research waiting. And what am I doing sitting in this dump and drinking alcohol? Badly distilled alcohol. I've sent a message to my friend, another alchemist. He is my only hope. Hopefully he will send me a pass. Hmm. Well, I wish you luck. Thank you. They must admit me, they must. I wanted to ask you about alchemy. Finally, someone worth talking to. Here I thought the locals had no interests beyond their daily concerns. I'm not exactly a local. And think about it, if the locals were all interested in alchemy, they wouldn't have much need for you. Ha! Typically short-sighted. Witcher, alchemy is the mother of all sciences. And do you know why? For it allows us to understand the world. All that surrounds you is none other than the alchemy you strive so dutifully to deride. Alchemical processes transpire in your body at all times. They allow you to eat, breathe, and excrete. What's more, they are responsible for your thoughts and feelings. Alchemy is life. We need to change the subject before the peasants decide to burn us at the stake. One cannot shut the mouth of science. But fine, what do you wish to know? Where do I get ingredients? If you wish to obtain components yourself, you'll need books containing drawings and descriptions of ingredients derived from both plants and animals. Peddlers are your other alternative, but they'll rip you off. When I require monster tissue or organs, hmm, well, I hire a witcher or a hunter. How do you obtain alchemical bases? You need equipment to obtain the correct distillate. I myself use an atonator coupled with an alembic and equipped additionally with a rectifying column and a copper cooler. And if I don't have a coupled atonator handy? I see. Field work. Hmm. Olaf must have some decent vodka or spirit that could serve as an alchemical base. I'm interested in formulae. Ready-made formulae are rare and difficult to acquire, so I encourage you to experiment, modify recipes you already have. Most people underestimate the value of using the empirical method in science. I think
think I've heard enough. But we've only just begun! Farewell. Greetings. Greetings. What a despicable place! I'm trapped here with my goods while my wife and children wait in the city. Why is that? Vizima's gates are closed due to the plague. The gods be my witness, nothing ruins trade like an epidemic. I guess we just have to wait. Most of the diseased have died off, but the beast and bandits now spread their own terror. All we're missing are tax collectors. Can I ask you something? Yes? What's with this plague? What of it? Tis some variety of the bubonic? To be safe, I avoid any who appear even slightly ill. Aren't you afraid? I'm immune to infectious diseases. My grandfather claimed the same, insisting all the while that his bubonic ulcers were merely boils. May the ground lie lightly upon him. Yes? Tell me about the beast. I overheard it described as a phantom, appearing from nowhere, murdering those with a heavy conscience. Interesting. <laughs> Royal officials would make a true feast for the beast, and other ghosts serve it, apparently in the form of untiring bloodhounds. I'll have to ask the locals. Yes? Any bandits in the outskirts? Indeed. They call themselves the militia and extort bribes. Also, some sect from Vizima may have arrived here. Do these men wear the salamander sign? Never met them. But if they are a sect, the Reverend ought to know something. I'll ask him. Yes? Farewell. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, I'm a dwarf. No, I don't support the Skyatel. Yes, I've paid both taxes and bribes many times. Today, in fact. Calm down, I just wanted to talk. I'll be calm in my grave. Optimistically, that won't be long now. I'll try not to miss the funeral. Make sure and show up for the execution, too. They once herded me off to see a non-human get hanged. Let me tell you, laughed my head off. I gather they don't like non-humans around here. Neither here nor anywhere in the Northern Kingdoms. An official in Vizima recently won an innovation award. Invented a gallows especially designed for dwarves. What's so innovative about that? Nothing. But think of the savings. When you're producing them in the hundreds, all that extra wood can be used to make other goods. Toy swords, for instance. Can I ask you something? Yes. Who are the Skoyatal? Terrorists, or firebrands, you'd call them. They're fighting for the rights of non-humans. Skoyatel is elven for squirrels, called that due to the squirrel tails that dangle from their caps. Will I find any around here? You aiming to catch me off guard or just nosy? In any case, I'll not answer you. Fine. I wouldn't want to cause you trouble. Let's talk about something else. Yes? Why do the locals persecute non-humans? Why do pricks go in cunts? It's the natural order of things. Humans have always hated dwarves and elves. Not for me to know why. I'm not sure I understand. Then ponder it on your own. Or discuss it with that maggot brog. I don't talk to strangers about these things. Fine. Yes? Let's talk about weapons. Well, I'm no specialist, though I can forge swords. Bring me three different ores and I'll forge you an excellent steel sword. I'll look around for some more. Another thing. For 35 orans, you can have this excellent sword, Grease. It's not exactly uh, legal, but uh, I really need the gold. This Grease improves the quality of rusty weapons. Hands off human women, dwarf! Non-humans be gone!
What's your business with this dwarf? We're shaving off his beard. What's it to you? You'd be better off moving along. Love non-humans, do you? Sheathe your weapon and stop waving those arms around if you want to keep them. Ooh, a live one! Get him, lads! Kill the deviant! You asked for it. Dwarven bitch! <laughs> in your ass when I'm done. Thanks for getting those hounds off my back. Wait. Geralt, is it you? Well, I'll be damned. Something wrong? You don't look well. Are you hurt? True to a witcher. Died, came back to life. Nobody's seen him for five years, and he wants to know if something's wrong. Who are you? You drunk. I'm your pal, Zoltan Chiri. Where have you been? Why haven't I heard from you? What about... Not sure I can explain much. Ah, you don't need to tell Zoltan Chiri anything. Let's just say I'm glad to see you. Though it would be nice to resolve some matters. You misunderstood. I lost my memory. I only remember the last few weeks. Hmm. Know what, Geralt? Let's have a beer and talk like we used to. Clear your mind and maybe some things will come back to you. You look like something's bothering you. Yes, a nasty matter. My friend was to meet me in this village some time ago, but he never appeared. Think he might be in trouble? I hope not. But I wouldn't be surprised if he were. He joined the Squirrels recently, and agreed to trade with the Hawkers. Squirrels and Hawkers? The Squirrels, or Scoyatal as they call themselves, are non-humans who hope to gain equality by shooting folk from behind trees. And Hawkers are merchants who sell arms to the Scoyatal. Illegally. I see. Geralt, I'm not exactly welcome here. We non-humans get blamed for everything from the plague, through the beast, to the warts on the reverend's arse. I'd look for my friend myself otherwise. I'll keep my eyes peeled. Let you know if I learn anything. Thank you, my friend. So, how are you doing? You know me, my schemes. I hope to start a modest business in Vizima, bringing in goods from Mahakam. The Breckenrigs are pressuring me. The Breckenrigs. Who are they? My future in-laws. I'm to wed Eudora Breckenrig soon. But my father-in-law-to-be puts too much stock in material things. The common cause mine where I worked after the war was a complete failure. I blame it on the bloody times. Listen, I'm sure you've heard about this beast that hunts the peasants. Everyone's talking about it. What do you think? That's no regular monster. A curse or something. Like that crap about spilt blood, love and destiny. I'm not sure I'm familiar with that crap. That's a theory. The strongest curses, magical beasts and spells arise from a mixture of love, blood, destiny and suffering. I see. Fortunately... This is a rare combination. Can you tell me more about the squirrels? They're non-human little shits who are fed romantic tales. They've taken up arms to fight for freedom and other ideals. During the war with Nilfgaard, Emir used them to wreak havoc in the kingdoms. I don't know who supports them now. Zoltan, you mentioned my vanishing. Any idea why I disappeared? I'm not sure how to tell you, but you died, Geralt. Five years ago, during the massacre in Rivia, I saw some scoundrel stack a pitchfork in your gut. You bled to death on a dirty street before my eyes. Or so I thought. And I've seen enough corpses to know. Though there are some unexplained cases. From what I remember, 
Which other mutations significantly changed your body? For well, that makes it no easier to believe you survived. I need to go, Zoltan. We'll talk later. You a witcher? How did you know? Saw one like you recently and asked the Reverend. Never learned his name, but he wished to enter the city. Did they let him into Vizima? I know not. He approached the Reverend, perhaps for help. Anything else? Nothing I haven't said. That doesn't help me much. Hmm. This meat looks odd. What's it from? You smelling or buying? Shouldn't answer a question with a question. Where it's from is my business. Customers aren't exactly lining up. Hmm. Tell me more about the other Witcher. I know little. So try to remember what you already told me. He spoke with the Reverend, then took his leave. He seemed fearful. Thanks. Hmm. See ya. The beast is struck again. Who did it claim? The lone shark who lived by the bridge tore him to bits. Impossible. The beast summoned its ghostly servants. The cries were not the bridge. Many animals died from plague. I wonder how I'll feed my children. No time. I only know old fables. I'd gladly hear them. My grandchildren like stories of the drowned dead, like the jilted miller's daughter who tied a millstone round her neck and plunged into the depths. When someone overcome by passion drowns, they arise as the drowned dead. At night, the miller's daughter persecuted the living till the knights of the flaming rose sent her to eternal rest. The Order of the Flaming Rose eliminates monsters? Its knights protect us and ask no reward. Unfair competition, I'd say. I recently saw a drowned dead by the river's edge. A drowner? No, they're smaller. This was a drowned dead. Tell me about the drowned dead. Bigger and stronger than drowners. A criminal drowns. Sometimes he turns into the drowned dead. Blinded by rage, he desires to drag all living into the water. Where can I find him? Sometimes on the waterfront at night. Destroy him. We'll see. Stop! Uh, what are you? A witcher. We're militia. We keep the peace. I'll be going. We need to see you're not ill. I'm immune. Don't know what that means. We gotta check. What's that? Uh... Well, you look foul, but healthy. Move along. Godspeed. Be gone, devil's breed. Calm yourself, priest. I merely wish to speak with you. There's nothing to speak of. Indeed there is. I seek Salamandra. I heard they come here. They'll kill us because of you. I have ways of showing gratitude. What ways? You're troubled by a beast? Not your business. I'm a witcher. I could help. Another witcher came recently. Berengar. He promised to slay the beast, but fled when it howled. I'm not Berengar. If you want my trust, bear the eternal fire's light to the people and dispel the darkness. You'll find five chapels around the village. Fire won't scare the beast. This is more than a stray dog. The eternal fire, blasphemer. You can be sure it will scare off beasts. For it has been said that, though his soul be in darkness, and his visage be a horror, do not judge him hastily, for he will carry the flame of hope into the night. And also, you shall only be safe in the glow of the eternal fire. All right, but it will cost you one hundred orans. Very well, but the eternal fire must appear at night in all five chapels. I'm looking for men who wear salamander-shaped pins. That's not wise. Why? Vexing them may shorten your life. Do I look scared? 
Another Witcher came here before you. He too swaggered with audacity, and yet, do you see him? Not likely. He fled. He's not me. Do not sneer at Salamandra. The whole village fears them for a reason. You must convince us all. What can I do? For me, destroy the beast. As for the others, visit Odo, Mikkel and Horan. Can you solve their problems too? Are they elders of some sort? Everyone knows and respects them. Odo's rich, Horan a merchant, and Mikkel a city guard. Gain their trust, and you'll win the trust of the village. We'll see. Wait. They need to believe I sent you. Show them this ring of the eternal fire. G -g Greetings to the honorable gentleman. You are? Haran Brog, merchant and middleman, at your service. What brings you here, w Witcher? What do you have to offer? The re reverend sent you, I presume? Of course. W why don't I b believe you? The eternal f, -f fire a gift from the Reverend, I presume. The Reverend sent me. He thinks you need a witcher. I do. The d -d dead emerge from the river at the night. A ghastly cold blows from the water, making my flesh crawl. Help me. I'll s spare no exp expense. I'll help in exchange for information about Salamandra, and throw in 100 orans for my expenses. I heard you were looking for s Salamandra, but if so, you're looking for trouble. It's no m matter to me. You, you have a deal. These d damned undead are my concern. They scare customers off and d d destroy my crates. And this is a valuable shipment for a special client. Where would I find these drowners? W where? At the river's edge. They creep out of the water after dusk. I see. Witcher! Listen, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. N n not here. You want to get both of us in trouble? You're no saint. Afraid of a box? You have so much contraband in stock. Survival instinct. I'd rather lay low. The Reverend detests this game. So you know what it is? I, I, I didn't say that. They're obviously not of human make and stink of de devilry. Best to ask among the dwarves. They must know something. Thanks for that, at least. My friend seeks a dwarf, Hoog, a Scoyatel. I'll ask around. M maybe I'll learn something. What do you sell? Anything, r really, but in these hard times I have a rather l l limited selection. Show me. The c c customer's always right. Farewell. Geralt! So, how are you doing? You know me, my schemes. I hope to start a modest business in Vizima, bringing in goods from Mahakam. The Breckenrigs are pressuring me. From Mahakam? Any profit in that? I certainly hope so. I made some investments during the war. As they say, money needs to move. Just so long it doesn't run away. Geralt! Zoltan, I found these strange dice. Looks like dwarven handiwork. It's poker with dice. Very entertaining. Requires less attention than cards, but it's just as exciting. Dice are a dwarven invention. Became popular after the war. Not surprising, given that every mercenary played. So how do you play? Let's shoot around, I'll show you. Greetings, stranger. Funny, you remind me of someone. Who would that be? The famous Witcher, Geralt, the White Wolf. Really? It's uncanny. White hair, sword across your back, streaked out of the ballads. You guessed right. Those ballads are about me. Nonsense. 
Everyone knows Geralt married a sorceress, and they live somewhere on the Happy Isles. And how do they all know that? Master Dandelion, the Bard of Bards, has sung those ballads for years. Hmm. What's in your repertoire? Shall I sing for you, my lord? Why are you being so gentle with Looks her? Looks like Miss Vesna has unwanted Try visitors. Try being rough, I dare you! Oh, the shrew needs to wait. Is that you? Witcher, help! Piss off, Whitey! No monsters here! Don't have the balls to fight a witcher, Butch! Shut it, woman! I'll show you balls! <laughs> You're apt to lose those shortly. Stop! Come on. Will you help me? I fear the dogs and thugs, but I need to get home. Certainly. Let's go. We're almost there. We're here. Thank you. How can I repay you? No need. See ya. Kedmil Havkaran. Greetings. I don't speak your language. Nendwan Esavatgan. You'll not intimidate us, Witcher. Where's Haran Brog? He promised us some hawkers' specialties. I'm not sure I like your tone. Haran didn't mention you. I was hunting drowners. Vat Telnain. You're no Ensaid, but you're not Dwan Filth either. We'll just take our weapons, and let's part in peace. The goods are Haran's. Sorry, Ensaid. But I can't let you touch those crates. Listen carefully, Vatgern. We're part of a 20-elf unit. Our brothers suffer from disease and hunger. These crates contain food, medicine, and weapons. We want them now, for we can't approach Vizima's walls every day. I guess I see your point. Good. We have no choice. But you do. Fine. Take the goods. We're no criminals. We'll pay you. We have gold, pelts, herbs. Give me the gold. I have no use for the rest. Here. We'll take what we need now and come back for the rest later. The drowners shouldn't bother you anymore. The fail, Vatgern. Farewell. Witcher! I killed the drowners and encountered elves. Uh, uh, elves? I don't believe I know any uh, elves. They were expecting you. Who are they? Skoyatel. Squirrels. Young non-humans. Freedom fighters. Those who d deal with them are hanged. B betray me and you'll hang too. 
I'll keep quiet. If it's dangerous, why do you trade with them? I have to make a l l living somehow. Either way, I did my job. My crates are s safe, then? I underestimated you, Witcher. Incidentally, what ha happened to the elves? We spoke. They said their entire unit would come back for the rest of the crates. Are they m mad? D dangerous for them to come so close to Vizima if someone were to report it. Meaning? Skoyatel heads f fetch a high price, Witcher. But b best forget you know that. No business of mine. I want my payment. Then you can tell me about Salamandra. Here's your g gold. S Salamandra collect tribute from the villagers. Disobey, and they s slit your throat, set your house ablaze. Where can I find them? Ask the r reverend. He'll decide what you should know, but I wouldn't mind them gone. Farewell. Whatever lives in that cave is far from friendly. Any news? These are your friend's remains. What killed him? I cannot say. I don't know what that is, but I trust you'll fulfill the deal and bury the body. But we agreed. We agreed? A decent burial? Or I won't pay? What's decent? Lacking anything better? The crypt beneath the Reverend's church. Did you want to ask me something? Where's Alvin? Abigail, a local soothsayer, offered to care for him. I hope I did right in trusting the boy to her. She seems strange. I'll look in on them. Thanks, Geralt. We'll speak later. Oh, my stomach hurts, cursed witch! Ugh. Oh my, a witcher. Welcome. What happened to the man outside? It was his own fault. Many come to me with pitiful fantasies I disdain to fulfill. They take me for a whore when I am but a witch. I'll remember that. 
<laughs> Don't worry, I'm not all bad. The sinner will recover. What do you want? Can I ask you something? If you must. I see you took Alvin in. Did you think I'd abandon an orphan? Besides, he has potential. What do you mean? He has powers perhaps beyond his control. For now, he sleeps well with the herbs I brew him. That's good of you. Few in these times would be willing. It's another mouth to feed. With winter approaching, if I grow hungry, I'll eat him. <laughs> Doubtless the villagers think so, believing me a monster. Are you one, Abigail? We all hide a monster inside us. I found your notice. Excellent. Do you have the Bargest Skulls? I do. They're yours, for a price. I knew you'd manage it. And take this Mandrake root. You might find it useful. Can I ask you something? If you must. Do you have any magic against phantom hounds? What about your sword? I heard witchers carry two. A silver blade for monsters and steel for humans. Both are for monsters. Unfortunately, I lack the silver one. I know of an ointment. When it coats your blade, you'll cause grievous harm even to specters. The formula will cost you 30 orans. You'll need nasen salt, ganatsid's acid, winestone and lard. I can sell you these ingredients. Thanks. You can replace the nasen salt with hellebore petals if you wish. See you later. I should... <laughs>